A relentless striker with dynamic stand-up skills, Dan the Outlaw Hardy is always a threat wherever the fight takes place. With fast hands and accurate punches, he'll be looking to make quick work of his opponent tonight. Whether it's standing up or striking or setting up a submission on the ground, Carlos Condit is relentless with his attacks. With a world-class training camp behind him, he's ready to take on the best in the division, showcasing his versatile skills in the octagon. Dan Hardy, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Dan Hardy is one of the most technical strikers in the 170-pound division. And if you saw his fight against GSP, you know he's very, very tough to submit. He's primarily known for his knockout power, so look for him to try to keep this fight standing and make a brawl out of it. Dan Hardy, fired up and ready to go. Carlos Condit making his way to the world-famous octagon. Carlos Condit is a very experienced and well-rounded athlete fighting out of Greg Jackson's camp. He's a former WEC welterweight champion with a very aggressive style who likes to finish his fights whether he's on the feet or on the mat. Carlos Condit ready to throw down and put on a show. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, first... this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Nottingham, England, Dan the Outlaw. Hardy! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. He is the former WEC Walter Wake champion, the natural born killer, Carlos Condes. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. All right, this is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan. And we are ready to start round one. Hardy, Carlos Condit. Round one is underway. Joe Carlos Condit, professional kickboxing experience. He finishes opponents. He's got a lot of knockouts and a lot of submission wins on his resume. Yeah, very well-rounded and intelligent fighter, capable of knocking guys out or submitting them. Just a real solid left hook. He's down. Up, pushing his opponent away. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Oh, he's hurt. That one dropped him. Diving punch into the guard. Half guard. Into his guard. Joe, this is smart strategy right here, moving his opponent up against the cage, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to definitely impede his mobility. Oh, nice left and a right. Moves in a half guard here. Oh, he got reversed. He tried to escape, controlling the top position. Oh, body shot. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Big kick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
six. Nice body kick. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these up. Punishing shots to the body. In tight. Under nine. Oh! And he slips and lines up on his back. Good body punches. Just over a minute remains. He's got double butterflies in here, Mike. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Come down with a good one. Pushes him off with the feet. Push kick. Nice job, double leg. 30 seconds remains in the round. Got the over under here. Round one complete. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. Heavy hands for me. Heavy hands for me, all right? Heavy hands, you're ripping the body, but you're getting that hand back up nice and Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Here's that vicious shot. I thought this was a knockout right here. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected perfectly. And here was that nasty counter strike. Just so perfectly timed. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Fours and fives with the punches now, all right? We, we can't hold back now. Cannot hold back. The beautiful Ariani. Here you go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? We start round two. Let's this go, fight's guys. scheduled for five. Five-minute rounds. I want two more. And now there's also a cut on Hardy, Joe. And another takedown. Tough to do in this position with the cage there for his opponent. And he's got, he's got the takedown. Back on their feet. Nice double leg. Trying to scoot his opponent up towards the fence. He is just coming away. Oh my! Inside with a clinch again. He's got the takedown. He dives into the guard and punishes his opponent. Missed him. Oh, and that one drops him. He's back on his feet. Stopped. He's got the double. Good sprawl. Uh-oh, these are big strikes. Come on, baby, one, two. One, one, two. Two minutes left in the second. Oh, oh, spinning nice, back fist. nice spinning back fist. And a nice body kick. Oh, big spinning back fist. 90 seconds remains in the second. Outstanding takedowns. Oh, passes to the half guard. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. Oh, he got reversed. Body shot. 45 seconds remains. Back to their feet. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Oh, and punishing the midsection. 
He drags him to the ground. Nicely done. Oh, again with the knees. Working hard to try to get out of this bad spot. Two rounds in the books. Three rounds to go in this UFC title fight. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. Very nice takedown here. And here's that devastating counter-strike. That is world-class striking right there. And here we see that exchange that ended in a solid takedown. That was some nice action from that round, Mike. Don't vary from the game plan. Are you paying attention? Here you go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Spinning back kick. Jelly closed the distance. Now the clinch. Stay busy. Working the clinch. Control the clinch. Get him backing up and make him pay. Heavy, heavy. One in five. Two fake. Watch him trying to bait you. Get that oh. double Get that double clutch. He takes him down again. Oh! Watch when you grab your legs. Are you ready to explode? He ain't that one. Under three minutes now. Nice body shot. He's got half guard. Hit him from half guard. Kick him away. Inside the guard. Looking to force his opponent up against the cage, Joe. He lets him up. What an onslaught of attack here. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Got to take down again. Keep moving. Explode! Pushing his opponent away. Under two minutes remains. Again, he takes him down. And he gets reversed. Postures up. Boom! He's staying on top of him, controlling the position. Transitions to the full mount. Make space and go! You've got better position! Body shot. Using the butterflies. Into half guard. Keep the half guard. Bring your leg over. You like the butterfly guard? Yes. If, if you're good at it, it's an excellent technique. It's not an easy one to master, though. Stay tight in there. Round three is complete. Aside from that submission attempt at the bell, we really didn't see much from either fighter, Mike. Well, let's hope that woke these fighters up. Like it woke the crowd up, Joe. You gotta bring something behind it. You gotta be Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. And here's that lightning fast takedown. Amazing wrestling technique. Try to spin him around. Don't, don't let your back sit, sit on the end. Here you go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? We begin the championship rounds. This is round four of this title fight. Push forward, push forward, don't retreat. Come down, we're 
sometimes it's better to throw shorter, quicker punches, and that's what we're seeing here tonight. When you put all that effort and energy into a punch and you really wind up, it takes more time to reach the fighter. Just punishing him. Condit keeps getting tagged on that cut, and he is bleeding bad now, Mike. Now looking for the takedown. He wants the double. Relentless takedowns here. Half guard. Moves into full mount here. Now able to posture up. Vicious ground and pound from the top here. Haymakers. Huge ground and pound, Joe. I, I can't believe he survived that. Nice punches from the top. Here, both hooks in. He switches to over under control, still has the back. Total control from the top position. Back to the back again. Both hooks in. Oh! Rolls back over to mount again. He tried to escape, controlling the top position. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. Just over a minute remains. He's moving north-south, looking for a choke. That's it. There it is. 45 seconds remains. This is pretty much a stalemate. Yeah. Referee's gonna stand him up. Here we go. Let's go. Fight. Fast forward. That one dropped him! He's hurt! He's hurt! I can't believe he got back to his feet, but he has hurt badly. They have worked into the deep waters. Four rounds complete. One round remains in this UFC title fight. We are heading to a fifth and final round in this championship fight. I'm almost glad to see that round end, Mike. Both fighters need to get back to their corners and re-strategize. They were just shutting each other down wherever the fight went. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. Here we see the fight get taken to the ground, steps right into the strikes. And here's that devastating counter-strike. That is world-class striking right there. You don't get the takedown, you're going back to the strikes. You're looking perfect. Here you go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is the fifth go, go. and final round. Three on nice right hand. Oh, big left hook. At the over under. Get it back and up, make it pay. Keep going. Try to get a takedown if you can. Back him up. Body shot when you're in that tight. Wrestle him, man. Follow up. Under three minutes now. Oh, wow. looping hook there. Get to the and another Stay takedown. Working hard to try to get out of this bad spot. Stop. Referee's going to stand him up here. Good call. In and out, in and out. Make the 
Let's see if it gets a little faster toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Missed that one. Uh, they're going to close it up again right to the clinch. Oh, we got tagged to the hook. Combination, left-right. Oh, that left hook. Followed up by the kick. Oh man, Hardy is cut open bad now. Outstanding takedowns. This is pretty much a stalemate. Yeah. Referee's gonna stand him up. All right, here we go again. Beautiful head kick there. And he's down. Full guard here. He hit him with some big shots. They go the distance. And we'll head to check out the judges' scorecards. Joe, you know what? Decent fight. Not going to go into the UFC Hall of Fame of fights, but not bad. It definitely wasn't embarrassing. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. Here we see the fight get taken to the ground, steps right into the strikes. And this was that hard-fought takedown to get the fight to the mat. Right here we see that tremendous counter shot land. The judges have rendered their decision. And here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 49, 46, 49, 46, and 49, 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And now, the new UFC welterweight champion of the world. And the outlaw. Hardy has become the new UFC welterweight champion.